We decided to stop from doing it. This is the original sourdough bread place, and we decided to put it in the the New England from Chow, which I did have with me. Um, I took it on the flight, so I'm going to bring it back to New York with me. But here we are at Fisherman's Wharf. This area you mother, you? has everything. I mean, yes, all I can. of You're the drinks you want, all of the entertainment, live music, every store and restaurant you can think of is right here in San Francisco at Fisherman's Wharf. Now, San Francisco has so much to offer, it's so much culture, it's so diverse. I mean, we had a great time and we will be visiting San Francisco again because we did not have time to take in everything and I was so excited that my videos are pretty much everywhere. So I'm gonna make a complimentary video. And this is Fisherman's Wharf. Also later in the evening after our boat tour, we did stop by one of the restaurants and the seafood was simply amazing. I have never had seafood so delicious and I've been to a lot of places and a lot of areas. So yeah, this is San Francisco basically in a nutshell guys. You must visit, we did get some Biscoff coffee. And I did pick up a few items to do another yeah. piece of cheesecake. Oh, they they even had a farmer's market. Look how huge these peaches are. I never seen anything like this. I also wanted to bring some home, but I could not put it on the flight. My suitcase was already over the limit, and I had like a little travel suitcase. Now, what I also would like to tell you that it's very cold, and here we are on the ship, and that is the famous Golden Gate Bridge. I'm gonna try to give you guys all types of views of the bridge, so. There it is in that view. That's the long view of the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm so glad we got a chance to see this iconic bridge. And this is the iconic Alcatraz. Look at Alcatraz, y'all. Now we had the option. This motherfucker. Look at Alcatraz, y'all. We had the option to do the tour, but we opted not to because, you know, I don't want that negative energy. But that's Alcatraz right now. Here's another view of Alcatraz. This was so eerie and so ghostly. I believe every story that came out of Alcatraz, but this was originally Indian land, so they gave it back to the Indians. It's currently closed, and you can do tours, like I said, but I do not want that energy because I do work in one of the toughest jails in the whole United States, okay? And I just did not want to go inside of this prison for a tour. So, so here we are. I'm just going to show you different views of Alcatraz. How you can see it's all dilapidated from the seawater. I don't even know how people are actually going inside of this prison, but they do allow you to go inside of the prison. I opted to look at it from a view so I can give you the proper view of Alcatraz. Enjoy, guys. zoom in so you can get a good look at the prison. This is Alcatraz, guys. This is Alcatraz. Make no mistakes about it. It's everything that you would imagine it would be. It looks like a horror house straight out of a horror film. I'm going to zoom in so you can get a good look. If you look closely, you can see Indian land is written on that prison building. the commentary that came along with the tour but they said this is one of the most dangerous prisons in history here it is right in the flesh Alcatraz
did pray before we came over here to visit this. This is the infamous Alcatraz. Oh my god, it's just a shell now. That's the seawater and everything, ate everything up. According to history, Alcatraz was built in 1934 and the structure is still standing, guys. It's still standing. Oh, there's some people walking around on there. I think that's the people that do a tour. You can do a tour if you want. You can tour. You can go inside the cells and stuff. But like I said, you know, that's unwanted uh, energy. So we don't really need that type of energy. So um, I just opted to stay right here on this boat into the tour. I'm gonna zoom out for y'all. Terry also stated that Alcatraz did not have its own water supply, so water had to be shipped into the prison. One said it was no escaping Alcatraz, but I think one guy did escape, escape from Alcatraz, the movie. So guys, here you have it. There was the infamous Alcatraz and there is the Golden Gate Bridge. And we're gonna have another view of this. Let's just get a concept of how far Alcatraz is from land. And I'm just gonna pan out so you can see. It's really, really far. 